Hello everybody and welcome back. So recently I've been getting pretty tired of my everyday go-to look or my signature look. I feel like it's been a soft brown eyeliner and a bronzy blush for far too long now. I need to switch it up. I still think that look is very cute and I'll wear it time to time, of course. But ever since I dyed my hair darker and I got the bangs, I feel like there's a disconnect and that look doesn't suit the hairstyle as much anymore. So today I'm going to try to come up with a new signature look that's a bit more bold or funky and that I can switch up aspects of it if I feel like doing so. So that's the plan for today's video. So before we get into it, I'd love for you to subscribe if you haven't already and let's get into it. I'm going to be skipping right over primer and going straight into my Rose Ink Skin Enhanced Luminous Tinted Serum. I'm just applying this over my skincare and for my morning skincare, I thought I would just quickly share it. I have been using the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream as my moisturizer with the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen on top. And that's it. And lip balm. I switch up my lip balms all the time, but today I'm wearing the Lano Lips one. In this tinted serum, I'm using the shade 30. I'm going to squirt two pumps on the back of my hand, and then I'm going to pop the little pigment bubbles with this brush. This is a Moda complexion brush. I have been so, so excited about this product. This is the fourth time I'm using it today. First of all, it's such a perfect match for my skin tone, and that's always so exciting when you find a perfect match. But it also wears so nicely on my oilier complexion. I just assumed going into this that at the end of the day, I was going to have like an oily greasy mess just because most of it is a serum but that's not the case I took a little video at the end of the day um, I think it was yesterday or maybe the day before I have no timeline of life right now <laughs> but my skin looked so so nice I'm really happy with my purchase of this product to me it was worth the pricier price tag for this result and how it wears on my skin and many of you were asking me how it compares to the face and body from MAC it does kind of a similar thing once you apply it to your skin where it feels very wet and watery but then all of a sudden it thickens up and then it turns into a foundation this product does the exact same thing but I feel like this one has a bit more um, of a matte or a velvet matte finish it does have like a luminosity to it but it just feels more matte in comparison to the face and body from MAC. It's also a really great fuss-free one. I wasn't really paying attention to my application there, but it always applies really, really nicely and quickly. I'm just gonna add one more pump just so I can see if I can build it up a little bit. Just quickly going over with my beauty blender to make sure I don't have any brush strokes left behind. Now for my concealer, I got my hands on the LYS Triple Fix Full Coverage Brightening Concealer. They sent me over two shades, so huge thank you to the team. I'm very, very grateful. But this concealer comes in 25 shades? Yes, 25 shades, and it's $18 USD. I have these little info cards here that I took photos of, and I'll include them in here if you want to pause to read them. But yes, it's a clean, buildable, full coverage, natural skin-like finish, skincare infused concealer. <laughs> That's pretty much the gist of it. I used this once already. I didn't pay close attention to my under eyes that day, so I don't know how it wore, but once it was immediately on, it looked really nice. I forgot what shade I used. I think I used the shade LN3, which is a neutral one, yeah. I'm going to be going in with that. I feel like that's a good color. And they really stuck with their triangle theme, even though the doe foot is a triangle. So I'm just gonna tap it on the inner and outer corner. Since this is a full coverage concealer, I want something on the lighter side or even medium, just because I have this light coverage foundation going on. And I'm just gonna blend that out with my beauty blender. I really hope my under eyes agree with this concealer since I love the foundation so much. I just have a little bit of fear because in my experience, I always dislike the matching concealer to a foundation. I don't know, there's a curse. Let's just hope this uh, concealer breaks that curse. Okay, that looks pretty good. I might add just the tiniest bit more right here. I have a little more darkness. It looks really, really nice. And it looks like a good pair with this rose ink complexion product. I'm going to set that now with the LYS Triple Fix Translucent Setting Powder. I use the shade Resilience, and I'm just going to set my under eyes for the meantime. 
Now to bronze up my skin, I picked out my Patrick Ta Cream Contour and Powder Duo. I have the shade She Sculpted. I haven't used this in a hot second. And I pulled this one out because I couldn't decide if I wanted to use a cream or a powder. And this one is both of them in one, so it felt like the right idea. So I'm going to start off with the cream side with my Moda Blending Fan Brush. Now I'm going to take a touch of the powder side, just to amp it up a touch. For my highlighter now, I wanted to grab this one from NARS. I'm going to be applying that with my Moda Pro Glow Brush. This one really caught my eye in my highlighter section, and I haven't used it in a moment. And for my blush, same kind of thing. This one was poking out at me. This is the Rare Beauty Blush in the shade Encourage, which is one of the newer shades. And I wanted to give it a shot. Plus it's a color I don't really reach for often. It's a bit more berry pink. So I'm going to take some in the palm of my hand since this stuff is crazy pigmented. I'm gonna go with that much to start. And I'm taking my Quo Beauty Foundation Brush and I'm really mixing it in there just to get all the bristles coated and so that it's a little bit absorbed. Now I'm going to pat it in the areas I want to blush up. And then you'll be able to build it up this way instead of panicking, trying to take it down. That's a really nice color. I always like to apply my blush kind of in between my bronzer or contour and my highlight, just right in there, just so everything meshes well together. I'm happy with that amount of blush. I can always amp it up if I want to later on. I'm now going to pick up my powder once again and I'm going to set the center of my face as well as my forehead. Just using this big Moda brush, it's a Balm 125. I set my whole forehead now just because I do have those bangs. This one's a really nice matte uh, blurring powder but it doesn't like take away all of your glow. It still makes your skin look like skin. Just set skin. <laughs> but now it's time for me to prime my eyelids and do my eyebrows off camera. So please enjoy the brow intermission. So let's talk about my idea for my eyes. So since I have the bangs, I feel like an eyeshadow look kind of gets lost within it. So I knew I still wanted to do something with eyeliner, but I wanted to have the freedom to do something funky with it. So I landed on a double wing, a two-tone double wing to be more exact. So I thought it'd be cool to always have like a black simple winged eyeliner, but with the second winged eyeliner, I can switch up the color if I so please, if I want to make it a little bit more interesting. So today I'm going to use these two eyeliners. The black one I'm going to be using today is the Maybelline Tattoo Studio Smoky Liner. And for my bottom, I thought I would use the Makeup by Mario Master Pigment Pro in Deep Plum. It's a really pretty purple. I just blended it out so you can see the undertone of it. This is what it looks like when it's thicker. I thought it was really pretty. And plus this is a complementary color to green eyes. If you aren't sure what your complementary colors are for your specific eye shape, for your specific eye color, just look at a color wheel and whatever is directly, and whatever color is directly across from your eye color, that's going to be the most complementary to your eyes. Um, so let's get into it. I'm going to zoom you guys in. We'll see how this goes. I used to do double wings all the time. I don't know why I stopped. I'm taking my Smith 203 brush, which is a tiny, tiny little angled brush, and I'm going to create an eyeliner. I'm going to start right at the outer most corner of my eye. And I want this eyeliner to be mostly straight, but just a little bit angled, just slightly. And I'm going with this eyeliner because it's very controllable, but you can build it up to like a solid black. It's just easy to sketch out your liner with this one. 
Now I'm picking up my Makeup by Mario Deep Plum one and I'm going to work with even tinier brushes. This is a Sigma Winged Liner E06 brush. It's super, super tiny. Let's see if this works. It might not be stiff enough. Okay, I haven't done this in a long time, uh, but we can always clean it up. So I'm making room for a negative space and I don't wanna bring it the same distance as this liner is, I'm going about halfway. Yeah, that brush was not stiff enough, so I switched over to a Moda angled eyeliner. If you're doing this for the first time, I recommend using eyeshadows because you'll be able to have a little bit more flexibility and it's easier to clean up if you do mess up. But I'm going to take this around halfway and I'm going to blend it a little bit so it fades off as well. But I want the most pigmentation all the way up to the center of my iris. This is something I'm for sure going to need to practice because what is that? It's like a little purple blob. <laughs> So I'm going to now clean it up. <laughs> I'm going to grab my concealer that I used earlier, scoop some on the back of my hand, and I'm going to take just whatever brush I can. This is an angled brow brush, but it's very, very thin, so I'll be able to get some detailed work. So here's where I'm at right now. I recently received the new Melt Cosmetics Slick Waterline Eye Pencils. I couldn't believe when they launched these because before they announced these liners, I was like, why hasn't a brand come out with multiple shades for people's waterlines? And then boop, here they are. So this is really fun and exciting. I haven't tried them yet, but I'm going to use the shade Ivory, which is the lightest of the five. And I'm going to put that a little bit in my waterline to brighten it up to make my eyes look even bigger and I'm also going to use it to brighten up in here. Well, very creamy, okay. I'm just gonna put a little bit and I'm gonna take my finger to kind of take most of it away. <laughs> just so that it looks very natural. I don't want it to look too harsh. Cool, I think that made a difference. So now I'm just going to repeat that on this eye and I'll be right back. I ended up throwing on my mascara while I was at it. I used the Rare Beauty Mascara for my top lashes and the Glossier Lash Slick for my lower lashes. I love how the eyes are turning out. I'm just gonna take some of my NARS highlighter I went in with earlier to throw into my inner corner. And I think I might have to add like a contour color into my crease because I feel like my eyelids are just looking a little too pale and it's like distracting from the eyeliner. So I am going to take a little bit of my statuesque shadow that's just always on my desk. It's just my perfect crease color. It's perfectly neutral so it suits all of the looks and it's light enough to slightly contour. So I'm just gonna throw a light layer. See like I feel like now you look at my eyes instead of like the blinding whiteness of my pale ass lids. <laughs> I feel very, very excited about this eye look. I just like how I would be able to kind of funk it up if I wanted to. I could add a shimmer shade like in here or on top of here and it would look really cool. I can switch out the lower color all the time if I wanted to. I feel like it's very customizable, but it still is kind of everyday appropriate. Now listen, this isn't like my quick everyday look. This is the makeup look I'll go to when I have the time or if I'm going out at night, this is what I would wear. So here are the eyes all done. I freaking love them. The purple is really fun. Purple is a shade I haven't used in a long, long time. It used to be my everyday color in high school. So I stayed far, far away from it for years, but now I'm embracing it again. And I just love how it looks with my green eyes. So now let's move on to lips. I don't know what I'm going to pair with all of this. <laughs> so I have three options I pulled. Two of them are by M Cosmetics. So when I was doing my recent declutter, I realized I haven't used my lip clouds from M Cosmetics in so long. And this color looked like it would suit the blush I went in with today. It's the shade Rose Nude. Yeah, see, that's like a perfect blush match. I also pulled Venetian Rose, but it's very, very similar to 
that previous one from M Cosmetics just shiny version and then I also received some of the new Merit lip sticks and this has got to be one of the most beautiful lipstick packagings I've ever seen in my life I just love the looks of it the brown they used for the top cap is so gorgeous I really dig it this is in the shade baby so these look all the same <laughs> but I think they'll all work but for the sakes of it I think I'm going to use this one because I like how velvety it looks and I think I'm going to pair it with the Pat McGrath lip liner in the shade Buff. It looks like a perfect match. It's this one right here. Might be too pink. Might need to neutralize it a little bit with something else. Okay, I just balanced it out with the Pat McGrath lip liner and contour. That pink was looking a little too peach. And now I'm going in with Merit Baby. I don't think I'm sold on that combo. I'm gonna try Venetian Rose lip cushion just because I need hydration. That's a lot more comfortable and it doesn't enhance the texture of my dry, dry lips right now. I just fixed my bangs and this is the move. I love the combo of the bangs and the double wing. I think it looks really cool. Ooh, okay. I really like this and I do see this becoming my new signature look. I feel like it makes my eyes look really big <laughs> and kind of more mysterious in a way. <laughs> He's so happy now. But here is the finished final look. I really love how it came together. I think this was my exact vision and I'm so happy it worked out. But I really hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did, please give it a like. It would help me out so very much. I'll make sure to link all of the products I used in the description down below as always and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.